Hello everyone and I hope you are having a lovely day. Welcome to this beautiful gentle practice. This slow flow will allow us to let go of all the tension that we often feel in our back. We'll move slowly, we'll focus on the breathing and hopefully by the end of this practice we'll feel much better. Whenever you are ready, step onto the mat and we will begin. Let's come together in a comfortable cross-legged seated position. I encourage you to sit up on a block or a pillow so that you can elevate the hips and easier lengthen through the spine. Open the palms of your hands up, maybe bring index and thumb fingers together, Gyan Mudra, to increase the presence of mind. And now slowly close your eyes. We'll take just a few moments here as we begin to focus on the breathing. Slow inhale, followed by a slow exhale. Start to let go of everything that has been on your mind today. Observe how you feel. If you notice any tension through your back, try and direct your breathing into that area. Send all the love, all the warmth into your back. Soft and relax the shoulders down. Let go of any unnecessary tension that you might notice on your face or in your body. Remind yourself that you are in a safe place, free of any judgments, free of any expectations. Today we will move with the only intention to feel healthier and happier once you step off the mat. Take another deep breath. And now slowly extend your head over onto one side. As you hold it here, keep lengthening through the back. Soften the shoulders down. And notice the stretch that you create from one ear to the shoulder. You can try to tuck the chin a little closer to the chest and slightly lift through the chin up. Notice the difference in the stretch. One more time, tuck the chin slightly closer to the chest. A lift up. Reach the head up to the center and extend it over onto the other side. Tuck the chin to the chest, lift up, one more time, tuck it in, lift up, reach through the head up to the center, lift both of the shoulders up to the ears and draw them back and down. Two more times, lift the shoulders up, release them down, inhale up, and bring them down a few circles through the shoulders backwards lift the shoulders up towards the ears and draw them back and down very good the opposite way circle through the shoulders forward notice the space that you create through the back of your heart in between the shoulder blades one last time and bring the shoulders down. Hold your hands onto the knees. Inhale, lift through the chest up. Exhale, round the back, chin to the chest. 
Inhale, lift up, shoulders back and down. Exhale, round the back. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach up to the center. Sweep your arms up and over your head. Interlace the fingers and open the palms of your hands up towards the ceiling. Lengthen here. Draw the stomach in and up towards the spine. Open a little bit wider across the chest and slightly squeeze the elbows towards the head. A few deep breaths here. Notice that right now you've grown a little bit taller. Now one more breath. Deep inhale. Exhale, bring your arms forward, round the back, tuck the chin to the chest, hold it here. Notice a stretch along the spine. Inhale, lift up. One more time. Exhale, arms forward, round the back. Inhale, lift up. Unclasp the hands. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Draw the shoulder blades closer towards one another. Open wider across the collarbones. Very good. From here, bring the hands by the side of your body. Slightly hug the elbows in. Start noticing the stretch that runs through the shoulder. And now, might be, extend your head to the side where your hands are and create a little bit of a deeper stretch. Hold. Pull your hands forward. Slowly lift up. Extend your hands back and now bring them by the other side. Draw the elbows a little closer together. You can choose to hold it here. If you prefer to deepen the stretch, extend your head to the side where your hands are. Hold it here. Very good. Inhale, lift. Extend your arms back. Inhale, lift up through the arms. Exhale, twist over to the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist to the left. Sitting tall. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, place the right hand by the side. Soften the elbow. Bring the shoulders down. Open through the chest up. And now lengthen through the left side. Inhale, up. Exhale, on to the other side. Soften the elbow. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Open wide through the chest. And notice the stretch that runs through the right side of your body. Inhale. Let's do this one more time. Exhale over to the side. Inhale. Exhale over to the other side. Keep both of your hips on the floor. Very good. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold forward. Walk your hands as far away from you as it feels comfortable. Keep both of your hips on the floor and lengthen through the back. And exhale to soften and release. A few more breaths. Thank you. 
slowly make your way back up to seated and then transition forward onto your hands and knees tabletop position and with the next inhale soften the belly down open the chest and tailbone up exhale around the back press the floor away chin towards the chest a few more times, inhale, lift, exhale, round, inhale, lift up, exhale, round, one more time, inhale, shoulders down, exhale. Come back into the tabletop and now extend your left leg back. Keep it active, your hips parallel with the floor. Hug the stomach in, lift the chest up. With the next exhale around the back, bring the knee as close to the forehead as it is available. Inhale, extend. Exhale around the back, knee towards the forehead. Inhale, lengthen one more time. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Bring your right arm forward. Find your balance and lift yourself up away from the floor as you lengthen forward and back. Hold it here. One, two, three. Exhale, release. Let's change the sides. Extend your right leg back. Deep inhale. Exhale, round the back knee towards the forehead. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round the back, press the floor away. Inhale, lengthen one more time. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Find your balance. Hug the stomach in towards the spine and reach your left arm forward. Hold it here. One. Feel the space through the lower back. Two. Three. And exhale, release. Beautiful. Sit the hips to the heels. Take your child's pose. Soften the belly and chest down towards your thighs. Extend your arms forward. Bring the forehead towards the floor. Try to become as relaxed as possible. One more deep breath. Notice the sensations running through the back. With the next inhale, around the back, reach forward, tabletop. And tuck the hips and sit back, child's pose. Few more times. Around the back, reach forward. Exhale. Untuck the tailbone, chest up and back. One last time, round the back deep. Untuck and sit the hips to the heels. Very good. Reach forward. Tuck the toes, hands underneath the shoulders. Round the back, tuck the chin to the chest and then slowly we'll be sitting the hips to the heels. Exhale, round the back chin to chest and slowly sit a little bit back towards the heels hold it here release bring the knees to the sides of the mat walk your hands 
forwards, coming into the modified downward facing dog with the knees to the floor. And as you start pressing your fingers into the mat, squeeze the elbows in, lengthen through the spine and push through the hips back and up. Hold it here. Your forehead and your elbows are not touching the floor. Keep drawing the stomach in towards the spine. And then looking for a little bit more space between every single vertebra. Hold it here. One. Two. Three. Inhale, shift forward, knees closer together as you lower down onto the tummy. Forearms forward, elbows a little farther forward than the shoulders so that it's easier for your back coming into the sphinx pose. Slightly pull the hands back towards your feet. Open through the chest forward and up and draw the shoulders down onto your back. So you really don't want to have your shoulders up to your ears. Draw them down, lengthen through the neck and open wider across the chest. Slightly continue hugging the stomach in. A few deep breaths here. One. Two, three, you're still pulling the hands to the feet, not pushing into the floor. Four, one last breath. Five, release. Bring your left hand closer to the side. Right hand further forward in the middle of the mat. Inhale, lift up and a little twist. Look over the left shoulder. Release, change the side. Left hand forward, right hand to the side. Lift up just halfway and release. One more time. Inhale, over the left shoulder. Release. And over the right shoulder. Release. Very good. Lift up onto your hands and knees. We are coming into the downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide. Tuck the toes. Keep the knees bent. Today we want to fully focus on the length that we are creating through the spine. Press the fingers into the mat as if you want to push the mat away from you. And lengthen through the back as you lift through your hips up. We are holding it here for three breaths. One. Two. Three. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Feet hip distance apart. The knees are bent. Bring the stomach and chest towards your thighs. Relax your head down and grab your hands on the opposite elbows. You can choose to slowly swing the upper body from side to side to make sure you're not holding any tension in your shoulders or in your neck. Allowing yourself to relax into this fold. One more breath. The knees are soft. Take your hands towards the floor. 
bending the knees even deeper, slowly roll up to standing one vertebra at a time. Roll the shoulders back and down. Allow for a few moments here. Standing tall. Feeling strong. Feeling beautiful. Feeling the energy that is radiating from the center of your body. From the limbs. Very good. Let's come down onto the mat. Roll onto your back. We'll activate into the abdominal muscles because the strength in the center of the body, that's what keeps our back healthy. So bend the knees, feet are parallel on the floor. With the next inhale, reach your arms forward. Lift the shoulders up. Crunch the chest up, hold it here. One, your lower back remains on the floor. Two, three, four, five, a little longer, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, release. Place the hands on the tummy. Deep breath. On the inhale, breathe into the tummy first, then into the chest. Exhale, release. Let all the air out. Let's do this one more time whenever you are ready. On the inhale, lift the chest up, only as high as you can comfortably do that, and try to relax your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, release. Take a deep breath. Beautiful. Let's roll on the side of the body. Place the hand behind the head so that it's more comfortable. And now grab your upper arm onto the upper foot for the quad stretch. Pull the heel as close towards the butt as possible and try to keep your knees in line so the knee is not shifting forward, but you're pulling it a little back. Usually when we have tight hip flexors and quadriceps, it can cause the lower back pain. <laughs> Very good. Keep pulling onto the foot. Breathe through the stretch. One more breath. Very good. Release. Let's change the sides. Roll through the back. Come on to the other side. Make yourself feel comfortable here. And then grab the upper arm onto the upper foot and slightly pull it in. It might be good to activate through the back side of the leg to slightly push the hips a little farther forward. Three more breaths. Usually this stretch is quite intense for most of the people. So let's stay patient. Mm -hmm. 
slowly release and come back down onto your back. Keep the left foot, left knee back, left foot on the floor. Bring the right ankle over the left thigh. Keep the right foot flexed. Take your right hand and place it on the right thigh. Press the right knee away from you. Might be already here, you will start feeling a nice stretch through the right hip. Then hold it here. If you want to go a little bit deeper into the stretch, you can take your hands and interlace the fingers underneath the left thigh. Slightly pull the left thigh towards the chest with your hands, but try to keep your lower back on the floor. Use the strength of your hip to open the right knee away from you. To go even deeper into the stretch, you can interlace the fingers over the left shin. Choose a place where you want to stay today. Breathe. Well done, release. Let's change the sides. Place the right foot onto the floor. Bring the left ankle over the right thigh. Left hand onto the left thigh and press it away from you. Remember to keep your left foot flexed. Feeling the stretch here for me. Hold it here. Good, you can stay here or grab the hands underneath the right thigh or over the right shin. Slightly pulling the hands towards the chest and opening the left knee away from you. A few more deep breaths here. Release. From here, bring both of your knees over to the left. Left hand under your head, right hand on top of your head. Inhale, open the right elbow out to the side into a twist. Exhale, bring the elbows together. Inhale, open. Exhale, a few more times. It's absolutely fine if your right elbow doesn't reach to the floor. Follow your own range of movement. Listen to how it feels. Very good, now reach the right arm over to the side. Place the left hand on top of the right knee. Look over the right shoulder. Deepen the belly twist. A few slow breaths in here. Beautiful. Roll on to your back. Let's change the sides. Come on to the right side your body, right hand under your head, left hand on top of your head, inhale, open and into the twist, exhale, elbows together, 
Inhale, open. Exhale, together. Inhale. Exhale. From here, take your left arm over to the side. Right hand on top of the left knee. Look over the left shoulder. Breathe deep. Breathe slow. Notice how it feels for your back. Come onto your back one more time. Hug the knees into the chest. Lift the forehead up towards your knees. Release. Extend your legs and arms down onto the floor. If you feel tension in your lower back, then you might prefer to keep your knees bent or place a bolster pillows under your knees. Consciously scan yourself from your head all the way down towards your feet. Continue to let go of any tension. Become relaxed, light, soft. Notice how peaceful you feel right now. I encourage you to stay in Shavasana for as long as it is available to you today. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. It was an absolute pleasure. I hope that your back feels amazing. If you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you back on the mat very soon again.